Right. We are sitting here with Alexander, Eliza, Yippie, and Mark. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hey. 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 So, now, before I get into the fan questions, I wanted to ask you, usually, you know the score when you drop a new season of something, when you've got something to promote, you have to do the junkets, you have to do the phoners, but what is it like now during the corona apocalypse? Um, uh, doing all of the press stuff now, it must be kind of a bit weird for you guys. If you want to start, Mark, like, what's it like? Oh, yeah. You put, put me on it there. <laughs> I was, I was you first. Go, Alex or something. <laughs> like, uh, what, what's it like? Um, I don't know. It doesn't really feel, in terms of press stuff, it doesn't really feel any any different, really. <laughs> like if anyone gets in touch and, and is like, hey, hey, can you do this or that? And you're like, oh, I wanted to do this today. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't have that problem. You're available yeah. all the time. Yeah, just get into your fresh joggers. Oh, I'm going to have to change my joggers. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what about you Eliza like how have you been finding everything how are you doing during the corona apocalypse I'm really good but it's certainly quite a bizarre experience because I think we're such a fun cast we love each other so much we're so used to celebrating all together so usually yeah. when a new season drops we have parties galore um, last season we, we watched a lot of the episodes together which was really fun so it's kind of odd not being able to do that but we've been reaching out to each other and congratulating each other on the performances because they are amazing so it's weird to see these guys now on a video screen but i just want to hug them and tell them how amazing they are <laughs> oh and what about you yippee what about you like have you been game you said you were a gamer before we started this call have you been gaming a lot uh, yeah <laughs> that's basically <laughs> what i've been doing and i have a new puppy i just bought a new puppy two weeks before this all happened so and i haven't had any human hugs for about two months now so he's getting crushed little poor, poor little boy <laughs> And why why is he not on the call? Yeah, where is he? Come on. Because then I would be then I would be going because it's only eighteen weeks, so I would be saying no, 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 oh. no, <laughs> no, 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 ow, no. And we and don't I, want. And that. I'd be like, what have I done to offend this guy? Come on, just. <laughs> People are just gonna think you're crazy. You shouldn't. No, no, no. He's he's a good boy, and he. I, I uh, in the beginning I said no a lot, but now I rarely do it. So he's a good, very very good boy. And what about you, Alexandra? Have you been binge watching anything in this time? Um, I've been I've been staying really busy. Actually, I'm I'm working a lot uh, with a friend of mine, and um, I'm super lucky. I have a a little space outside with a tree, so I hung up a heavy bag. I'm able to. I built like a little jungle gym, so oh. I'm sort of doing physical stuff in the morning and and. Uh, and reading a lot in the afternoon so it's it's been it's been good you know i'm trying to make the most of it oh okay that's making me want to go to the, uh, go exercise but i'm turning into like a sort of little round pale potato here in front of <laughs> from oh, my mark, yeah. mark yeah. looks like you found a way to work out what are you doing oh always i've been eating lots of protein but at the same time i've only just got into working out again are you I'm, are you I'm, lifting zoe <laughs> no, no, not, not yet i'm getting there I've got, I've got the resistance <laughs> bands. People think I'm crazy because I take my resistance bands to the park and I wrap them around the tree. And oh my god! I wrap them around the tree and then I'm doing my workout. And then the tree was slightly moving, and someone came up to me and went, "Excuse me, you're hurting the tree." And I was like, "It's Ooh. a tree. I'm not going <laughs> to pull down a tree." You have to down like you now. <laughs> I don't. I'm like, mate, if I can pull down a tree, that's impressive, man. <laughs> man like, of steel. <laughs> man of steel. <laughs> I, I, I just eat a lot of proteins. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> a lot of cake. <laughs> and my and my dog only weighs one and a half kilos, so I have to lift them a lot. <laughs> I'll get ready for next season if there is one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating a lot of biscuits, but anyway, you guys are putting me to shame. Like I'm definitely not breaking trees like Marcus. So anyway, tree breaker, tree breaker, tree breaker. over here. <laughs> Good old tree breaker Rowley. Right, so. <laughs> if you need a tree breaking, call Mark. Right. <laughs> right, let's get on to some fan questions because we, unfortunately we don't have a lot of time to talk about breaking trees and, and, uh, and eating protein. But <laughs> let's get on to the first question. So um, this is a question for all of you guys. And this is from... It's Nav Neat Cower on Instagram. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but thank you very much for your question. 
what's some advice you would give your character in this season or the season that your character is in the first season? Oh, that's a quick, okay. Let's just simplify the question. What advice would you give your character in this season, not knowing what's about to happen? Imagine we've just were in episode one. Let's start with you, Eliza. Let's go with you first. Mm, I think I would tell her that it's okay to relinquish control um, mm. within all the new situations that she's facing because she's now leading a new life without Alfred. And so that loss is huge and she's experiencing a lot of grief. But within that, I feel like she has to now garner control, but through listening to others rather than, um, I don't know, taking really drastic action, which she has in the past. Um, I think her intentions have always been good. Uh, well, she thinks they have in the eyes of God, but she's now realizing that actually everybody else around her um, can help fulfill her destiny to complete Alfred's mission, I guess. So it's like relinquishing control, I'd say. Oh, okay, same question to Alexander. What would you say? Say, uh, spend more time with your kids, listen to your kids more, and listen to the yeah. advice of her. Listen to the advice of your gang. Okay. Like, okay. Always. It's pretty much always the same advice. He just doesn't learn. <laughs> <laughs> just listen. Just listen, God. What hell? Like, just listen. So, what about you, Yippy? What about you? So, what would you say? Uh, don't go into the dungeon and try to rape Ethelfled because that'll just fuck things up. <laughs> okay, okay, that's very, that's very direct. Because if I hadn't advice. done that, we would be rich right now and the brothers would still be alive, so. <laughs> very direct advice, sir. Okay, fair. And last but not least, Mark. Um, I would probably just say really simple. It's like, I think it's really current for the time that we're in just now. Just get like a, kind of like a COVID-19 mask. Because it will make sense <laughs> later on. So and true. Like, and then you'll be a lot less stressed. <laughs> <laughs> so all you need, mate, is a resistance band. And a the, yeah. Wrap around a tree. <laughs> that, <laughs> that moment <laughs> when your anxiety goes through the roof and you're like, you're like ah, it's epic. I love it. <laughs> that is amazing, Mark. <laughs> that is so good. It's where Feenan like invented Dettol. After that, he was like, right, we have to make an antibacterial spray. <laughs> Finan, I think Finan would. Uh, I think Finan would buy a lot of toilet paper if he was. Yeah, uh, he'd be hoarding that. <laughs> and uh, next question, like this is my, my question for Alexander. So, of course, your character's been on a, a huge journey. And I think it's that journey from youth to having responsibilities and things like that and, and people that come into your life. Do you relate to any part of his journey at all? That kind of that youthful energy and that and where he is now. Do you relate in real life? Yeah, of, of course I do. Although I feel like I'm, I'm sort of, uh, you know, doing more crazy things as I get older. I think, uh, um, the the part that I relate to the most is I think the search for a home and and sort of not really knowing uh, which camp you're in because I, I grew up in so many different places you know so it's very easy for me to to relate to that part but I think you have to relate to to, to all aspects of your character if you're going to play him and if you don't initially then you have to find a way to relate to it because otherwise how are you going to play him you know. Cool. Thank you very much. And uh, this next one's for a yippee. So your character is interesting. I quite like characters like yours, kind of like a bit, ooh, like, nah, like when you're watching them on screen. What is your inspiration for playing a role like this? Because he's not like a heroic character. He's not like pure evil. He's a bit gray and he's a bit untrustworthy and a bit, ugh. Like, what, where do you draw that from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you calling <laughs> untrustworthy? <laughs> yeah. Are you calling Heston untrustworthy? Because he's at least he's honest, right? That's true. That's true. That's true. About his treachery. That's true. He is. He is, if not very honest about it. So, what? Where do you draw that from? Like, would you say that you watch people in real life as an actor and you go, "Oh, I'm going to take a bit of this, take a bit of that," or is it just fun, just going for it? It's hard to say. Uh, I, it's easy to to draw stuff draw something from someone who's actually been alive. Uh, Heston is an historical figure. So I read a lot about him. I, I listened to a lot of podcasts and stuff. And there were a couple of sentences that really, um, yeah, there's a, there's a monk who has nothing good to say about him. And that's basically what I based the character on. 
Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I, of course, I, I've met a lot of people in my life, uh, good and bad. And yeah. uh, you just have to, yeah, steal a little bit from uh, someone and now and then. Next but it's question. fun, mainly just having fun. I mean, yeah, I think it's clear that Heston is a guy who just loves to troll people. You know, yeah. he, he yeah. travels the land trolling the the nobility, and and uh, yeah. I think he enjoys it really well. I love that. I love that that you describe as a troll. You're completely right. And uh, <laughs> next question from Mark. I love the relationship that. Um, your character has with Uhtred on screen. Would you say there's like a sort of having worked together so much like a real life sort of bromance kind of thing? What's it like working together? Oh yeah, it's good. I think that's the thing when you're on set, we're all friends now. So mm. actually it's quite easy to act beside each other, especially if it's a scene where, you know, you, you do have to more or, um, I don't know how much I can obviously talk about because I don't know if, you know, what people have seen or whatever. But there's a few scenes in this season where, you know, Finn's really concerned about his his best friend. And I think that's quite easy to do when you look in your, your best, your, well, your, your pal's eyes and you take them in and you're like, man, you're going through some hardship. It's quite easy to do that when, you know, you're acting across from a friend. Like, yeah. Any kind of like fun question for both of you guys, um, Alexander and, and also Mark? Any sort of like fun sort of memories you have together, working together on this on set in general, like moments that you've shared together? As as Mark said, going to work on The Last Kingdom is like going out to play with your best friends. And so mm. honestly, pretty much all the days have are filled with fun moments. And and as Mark said, we all feel so supported when we're when we go in front of the cameras and across from each other, because we know that we have each other's backs and, and uh, especially this season with Mark, we, we had some really emotional scenes and um, it's wonderful to do because it's so easy to access that vulnerable part of you when you're mm -hmm. literally in the arms of somebody who, you know, is, is, is going to give you love back. You know, it's, it's a, a, a really, really, um, enriching and and heartwarming um experience i want to ask you a random or a bit of a random question now about bromances on-screen bromances right because <laughs> i've got a fa my favorite on-screen bromance even though it's a bit of a uh, is definitely between keanu reeves's character and patrick swayze in point break best bromance <laughs> ever. that's so good <laughs> oh, oh my god it's like the, the greatest bromance that ever what lived on screen seriously oh, so much heart there what about you guys do you have a favorite like this is again from mark and alexander any favorite bromances or bromances that come to mind on screen that you completely love oh i love the boy band in this show <laughs> the boy band yeah they are a boy band <laughs> oh they God. have there are so many good scenes with you guys uh I just uh, it's amazing You're part of the boy band yeah but <laughs> yeah but i'm kind of like the guy who just make metal covers of your songs <laughs> <laughs> i love that a lot okay right next question let's get on to a question for eliza so this is from uh, Norevic28 on Twitter. Thank you very much for your question, Norevic. So, how does it feel and how does it affect you personally to play characters that make women step into power, fend not just for themselves, but for their people as well in a world mostly ruled by men? Now, that's Ooh, a very interesting question. Good question. I think, I think before you answer, <laughs> one that gets asked of... Um, female actresses and things quite a lot so to do it without being too obvious I think is, is a real skill I think all of you have you know and it's, and it's also testament to the writing so how would you answer how does it feel to play this kind of role? Um, I mean it's extremely empowering I mean watching the whole season now and looking at all the fantastic female characters and everything that they achieve is astonishing and considering this was set a thousand years ago and a lot of the things that happen within the show are completely true so Lady Ethelfled for instance all of her amazing accomplishments really happened and I think it's really inspiring for young women to watch that and um, take it into you know the age that we're living in now whereas you know sometimes it doesn't feel that different from a thousand years ago where you know a lot of 
you know, things that are going on are predominantly ruled by men. So I'd say it's exciting and inspiring to see these fantastic women take charge and be revered and um, garner so much authority, even within a time ruled by men. It's exciting. Yeah, I think it's very, very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you as well, like I, I read the, I think I read this right, that you said you're nothing like your character in real life. I hope not. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> yes, the, the, you are. You're always mad and angry and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All comes out in a Zoom chat. It's all coming out now, you guys. Exactly. Yeah, so, I so honestly get frightened when people, I mean, I've like hardly ever been recognized, obviously, but if somebody does recognize me, I think, uh-oh, I hope I'm nothing like that in real life. But it's exciting. And, and it's so cool because I think all the women are so kick-ass. Like, mm. watching Frida, especially within this season, has blown my mind. Mind, like getting to see everything that she's achieved and it's it's amazing and it, it's frightening actually the power that she wields as well it's it's really really cool so I love it, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Millie really brings it this season oh my god yeah. yeah everything that she achieves is, is stunning and, and all the things that these women have to go through and as you say it's they're really leading the way in, in lots of ways so um, it's fantastic to see these men also revere them and it's, yeah, it's great. It's an interesting one. Sorry for a button. I know you're asking the question, but since, because we've not talked about the show or whatever collectively for a while, but this no. is, this is the first, like, I've seen how like, important a mother figure is. And it's really yeah. sad watching it and beautiful at the same time, like a mother still looking after her children as they're <clears> older, <throat> but them try, trying to rebel against the mother, but you know the mother's right. It's really, Absolutely. it's so interesting, but that's, I think all, all these lessons are just still happening now in modern day. Yeah, absolutely. I think as human beings, we are uh, fated to repeat the same sort of patterns over and over and over again. We're still learning the same sort of lessons. So you see, even though we're watching historical dramas and, and capturing the essence of what happens thousands of years ago, or even when we watch sci-fi films far into the future, it's still, we're humans. It's never going to yes. change. Exactly. We're all stupid idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and amazing. And also amazing. Posy vibes. Posy vibes. Um, stupidly amazing. That's what we're. Stupidly, stupidly amazing. amazing. Yeah. I love that. If you guys were to take this is a question for all of you guys, and then we'll get on to our last question. Um, just very quickly, this one. If you were to take uh, one character trait from your, your character that you play in The Last Kingdom, what would it be and why? Uh, let's start with you, Alexander. Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not a good start man not... <laughs> go for it one character trait i think uh his uh his ability to bounce back from from disaster and heartbreak is just phenomenal great okay stuff he goes through is is baffling yeah uh what about you Yippie? what about you it would definitely be <laughs> the ability to not uh for one second worry about what other people think about me oh interesting okay Hands down. oh uh, what about you mark i uh, admire his fearlessness great okay like, yeah just in general i think that'd be great to just have that just recklessly yeah let's go do it just recklessly breaking <laughs> trees and stretching in parks. You got that? You got that? Unless it has something with airborne stuff to do. Because <laughs> then he just cowers. I've never seen Finn and cower like this. It was amazing, Mark. <laughs> you know, you know, do you know what we did? See if I start working and breaking trees now. Maybe when I come back to do the other season, I'll just, I don't have any weapons. I just punch people with this. <laughs> Pick a tree and use it. So if you want to find Mark, uh, just follow the trail of broken trees. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've got Eliza, last but not least, what, what, what trait would you take and why? I think it would be her ferocity. I feel like I don't really have any of that naturally at all as Eliza. So being able to play someone who's literally just, her fuel is ferocity. I think I'd, I'd like a sprinkling of that in my own life. Not too much, but just yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So now, uh, just last but not least, just wanted to ask all of you, because obviously the fandom's amazing and MCM, we are all about the fans. So did you have each of you a message for your fans and MCM. So let's start with you, Mark. Do you have a message for the fans? Uh, yeah, thanks for making me laugh all the time. <laughs> They're so creative, so unbelievably creative. 
Uh, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for your support and making me laugh every day, especially now. Brilliant. And uh, what about you, Yippe? Oh, I have to say the same thing. Uh, and also, uh, if it weren't for the fans, we wouldn't be able to do what we love. So, so uh, thank you so much for for helping me to to have a good time uh, in life. Uh, it's it's amazing. Couldn't do it without you. Love you. And Eliza, what about you? Oh my gosh, I totally agree with the boys. Honestly, the fans are out of this world. And I just want to thank them for sticking with Ellsworth, even though they may have hated her for a long time. <laughs> Gone in some redemption this season. Woo! Thank goodness. But we just have the best fans all over the world. They're all so brilliant and we love them. Yeah. Last yeah. but not least. And, and I, I think we are so lucky with the fans that we have because there, there's no no or very very little trolling going on there's there's you know it's so so much positive energy in all the the fan groups and that's truly remarkable um i'm very grateful for that and we have some some very dedicated fans that do an amazing job of promoting the show um and like yepa said we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys so thank you so much you guys, guys, I've got my Kleenex. I'm, I'm ready oh. to go. <laughs> I want to go back. Let me just add one Are you thing. antibacterial spray? Let me just oh, I've add got that one too. Thing. Well done. <laughs> Talking about bromances, yes. I personally missed uh, David Dawson playing Alfred so much this season. And that is one of my favorite bromances in an on and off screen. Oh. I second that motion. Yeah, Big me time. too. God damn it, so much, you almost made Harry me cry. And to be us, but yeah, David Dawson sorely missed. Yeah, David, he's watching it as we speak, and he's loving it. Oh. Yeah, you oh, better. You guys, you better. I wish I could talk to you guys all night long. Seriously, like it's been such a laugh. Like, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Bernie. Thank you, Claire. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy doing whatever you do in your PJs and yeah, like have a good one, you guys. I hope we'll get to speak again at some point soon, maybe in person. Yeah, that'd be great. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah. Take care. Love everyone. Well, you guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Oh my God. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. <laughs>